All right, hey, what's going on, guys? How do you do? It's your boy Gray here, and welcome back to the channel. So I don't know if you guys saw this, but we just got word that there is going to be a WWE collab within Call of Duty. So over on Twitter or X, Call of Duty's official account said it's about to be a SmackDown. WWE is bringing its best to the ring in Call of Duty Season 5 starting July 24th. And here's the six-second video that they added here. So the interesting thing is at the end of this video, you can see three figures. And this could potentially be the three operators that are coming to Call of Duty. It could be either three male figures or it could be two male figures and possibly one female. And this is an interesting development. We've known about this WWE collab for a while. It's been rumored for a while, but it was never confirmed until today. And the reason it makes this one interesting, you guys can see COD Warfare over on Twitter tweeted out that this is probably Liv Morgan or Rhea Ripley, uh, not Deadpool. I don't think that's Rhea Ripley at all, but if anything, it does seem like something maybe Liv Morgan might do. So we were all excited for the Deadpool and Wolverine collaboration, which as of this moment, it has not been confirmed at all, but it is still possible. But that finishing move that was found in the files could potentially be a Liv Morgan finishing move. And being how WWE has officially confirmed a collaboration and we still have nothing from Deadpool and Wolverine, I mean, that's, that's looking more likely. So with this WWE crossover that's happening with season five, let me know in the comment section below, who are you guys hoping to see crossover into Call of Duty from WWE? Let me give you guys some of my contenders that I believe will be in this crossover and at least I'm hoping will be in this crossover event first up absolutely Liv Morgan uh, she is currently the women's world uh, champion so I mean that is a big possibility plus that finishing move does look like something that she might do alongside that I will say Rhea Ripley crossing over from uh, WWE into Call of Duty I think that's a great collaboration right there John Cena is another one he just announced that he's retiring next year so this is even more promotion for John Cena it would be incredible to see the Undertaker oh my god if the Undertaker was part of this crossover over that would be fantastic i know people have been asking for that one it would be great to see the new day also the new day have been part of other video game franchises as well and um xavier woods is a big gamer himself so i mean it, it would be great to see a new day collaboration it would not surprise me one bit if cody rhodes was an operator in call of duty and now that i'm thinking about it cody rhodes over everybody at the moment because cody has already done some crossover collaboration with the boys and the boys have done a collaboration with call of duty already so that right there would add up tremendous Cody Rhodes. It'd be great to see Roman Reigns also. Roman Reigns in this game would be, bro, I, I don't even know if I would ever be another operator. If my tribal chief was in this game, forget about it. Uh, The Rock, that, that's another potential, I mean, that's a big name right there. The Rock being in Call of Duty would be big. And I'm gonna throw an underdog in here also, Kevin Owens. I doubt it. I highly doubt Kevin Owens, but you never know. And then Kevin Owens is one of the, like the faces right now of WWE. So and he, he does great thing. He does great work. So, but with all that being said, with WWE officially being confirmed and, you know, the the finishing move that was found in the files now potentially seeming like it could be a Liv Morgan finishing move. By the way, my wife Ruby just guessed that it is potentially Jade also, Jade Cargill. I mean, I could, there was another finishing move found in the files where it's like uh, it's like a, a spin. You grab them by the legs and then you spin and then you throw them. Now, that might be Jade Cargill. But with all of that, it leads us to question whether or not Deadpool and Wolverine is going to be in Call of Duty. The hopes are still high and you never know, man. There might be some kind of collaboration coming in with the Season 5 Battle Pass. I think right now the Battle Pass might include the WWE characters or operators, but it wouldn't surprise me to see a Deadpool bundle or a Wolverine operator bundle. And speaking of collabs and potential bundles or potential operators coming into Call of Duty, uh, one that's been in the files for a very long time already. I think it's been in the files for like, maybe I would say like three months or so, uh, but it still hasn't arrived. That would be a collaboration with the, uh, the Crow. They're making a new Crow movie and the Crow character or operator was found in the files or there was a lot of mentions of the Crow in the files that they found. Since the movie releases sometime in August, I believe, you know, it would make sense late or mid season for a uh, season five. And there's also been talk about another fallout collaboration happening soon. A lot of people were let down with this fallout collab bundle. They wanted something like else, something better. So I do believe they found in the files, uh, another potential collaboration with fallout, unless it was something that was like left behind from this bundle, but who knows? But for now, that's all we know, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, I guess we'll see, we'll see what happens within season five. And let me know, let me know in the comment section below what are you guys looking forward to the most i'll be honest man obviously the wwe collab is going to be fantastic i'm a big wwe guy wrestling guy so i love that collaboration and i can't wait it is a bit let down to to know that it's possibly a Liv morgan finishing move and not a deadpool finishing move it would have been great to see like a deadpool collab or a wolverine collab in this game with some of the like blueprints that they could have done oh man make sure to stick around because i will keep you guys updated so subscribe to the channel if you're new around here turn on notifications and drop a like for us it would really help out
Back over here. I might be somebody might be following me here now. Yep. Oh, oh, oh my god. Same, same team, same team, bro. Come on. Oh god. Hang on. Oh what the hell? <laughs> oh I can't oh, I can't believe that was a miss. Oh my god. No. Nope. All right, teammate. Hit marker. For the love of God, a hit marker. For the love of God, a hit marker, chat. Behind me, behind me. <laughs> I had to light them up at the end, guys. I know I'm using a shotgun, but I had to do it. They're using shotguns, too. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the content, the information, and a little bit of the gameplay there. I'm looking forward to reading your comments, seeing what you guys think about this upcoming collaboration with WWE and the potential others as well. If you want to stay up to date with any leaks, rumors, potential in-game updates and stuff like that, bundles and all of that stuff, make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and drop a like on today's video. It would really help out. Remember, you can use code GRAY over at Control Freaks. You can also also use code gray over at aim controllers and you can use code yt gray over at g fuel links in the description below you can use those codes at checkout for a discount make sure to give us a follow outside of youtube tiktok twitter instagram snapchat stay connected and uh give us a follow over on twitch and kick as well that's where we stream sometimes i'm gonna call it there for me today you guys all right thank you so much for watching until the next one my name is gray peace